While there are many manufacturers of ABS systems, the designs fall into three main design categories. They are one-channel rear-wheel anti-lock systems, also known as RWAL systems, three-channel anti-lock systems, and four-channel four-wheel anti-lock brake systems. Rear-wheel anti-lock systems are exclusively non-integral systems because the traditional master cylinder and power assist booster are required to operate the front brakes that are not part of the ABS system. Three-channel systems can be non-integral or integral. All three-channel systems combine the rear brakes on one channel and use separate channels for the two front wheels. Four-channel systems can be either integral or non-integral ABS systems. While design differences are common among the eight major manufacturers, the primary components and functions are the same. Four-channel systems can also differ in that they may or may not provide a traction control function in addition to the ABS function. Rear wheel anti-lock brake systems only control the application of ABS to the rear wheels. RWAL systems are used on light duty trucks because of the greater chance of lockup with a truck with no load in the bed. Rear wheel anti-lock systems are always non-integral, single channel design. Wheel sensors on the two rear wheels provide the critical input to the ECU. If a signal from one wheel sensor indicates a lockup condition, the ABS system responds by initiating the isolate, hold, dump routine for the one channel it controls. The result is that the fluid is pulsed to both rear wheels. Three channel ABS systems can be integral or non integral systems. As with a two channel system, the rear brakes are both on the same circuit or channel. Three channel systems also include separately controlled ABS circuits for the right front wheel and the left front wheel. On a three channel system, a wheel lockup condition on either of the rear wheels results in the application of the ABS isolate, hold, dump routine to both rear wheels. If either of the front wheels lock up, the ABS isolate hold dump routine will be initiated for the channel that controls the wheel that is locking up. The other wheel will continue to brake without ABS intervention. On a four channel ABS system, a separate ABS channel controls each wheel. If a wheel sensor signal indicates a lock up condition of any one wheel, the ABS control unit only initiates the isolate hold dump routine for that channel. The other three wheels continue to brake without ABS. If there is a failure in any part of the ABS system, the entire system will be disabled and the vehicle will brake normally without ABS assistance. A failure of the high pressure pump where used may result in a loss of power assist but will not affect the hydraulic pressure to the brake calipers or wheel cylinders. <laughs>